Hey, how's it going? In this video, I want to talk about uh, one exercise that you can do to kind of instantly make your ads uh, profitable. Okay, I know this sounds a bit crazy but and stuff, but like people don't do this and they don't take the time to do this, which um, I think is super important. And a lot of people don't talk about it because people talk about ads, people talk about numbers and stuff, but they don't understand that you're selling to human beings. So you got to think like the human being that you're selling to. Okay, so um, I just want to show you this very, very simple example right here. And then uh, you think about it for, from your perspective, from your business as well, and then just implement it. Because if you really think about it, uh, I think it will give you a lot more clarity uh, into your customers. Okay, so give me, give me, just give me one second. Okay, so if you see on the screen here, um, this example is just, is literally just defining who you're selling to. And you'd be surprised on how many people don't even know who they're selling to. Okay, so like after I realized this and I actually implemented this across like different accounts and stuff, it felt like a superpower because I can see through walls. I know it's a bit crazy to say, but um, everyone is huddled into the ads game. Everyone's huddled into business manager. I'm not into business manager, you know. I, I, I you know, you, you got to see things from a macro point of view. Okay, so let, let me talk about uh, what, what I do, right? So I always start from, okay, I, I analyze the data from, okay, I go into a uh, business manager and then I see, um, okay, what are the highest purchase conversion value audiences, right? So for example, um, be it male, 18 to 35, um, living in certain geography and stuff. And then I know that is a certain type of stereotype customer persona, okay? And then I determine who, who those people are. Okay, so let me just pull up uh, an example product right here. So uh, I just randomly search uh, Amazon for this uh, kitchen niche, uh, sorry, this camping, this camping tent thing. Okay, so le let me try to define who it is, is. Okay, so I know from the product description, for example, right, um, that these guys, they don't like the water coming in. So in my mind, it's like people who like comfort while tenting. Okay, and so if you just define it, for example, if I see that in face, for example, in Facebook, that my most profitable audience segment is men and they are like working adults, right? So I can stereotype uh, and then the, the copywriting and the messaging is turning towards that. Okay, so uh, who am I selling to? For example, I'm, I'm selling to... Um, to, to, uh, 28 to 40, 40 year old men, for example, and then they have families, right? And then they have, um, they they like to get outside on the weekends, okay? And then, so what are they afraid of? What problems do they face, okay? Uh, they are often often in office, right? They don't get fresh air. They, they would love to get away from work sometime, okay? So can you see off the bat, right? I understand okay, who they are, uh, what are they afraid of, what do they want, right? What do they want? Probably they want uh, like family time, right? And they want to spend it outdoors, right? So they definitely want to buy this camp, uh, this tent, okay? So uh, after this defining the customer persona, right? Then what you want to do is put all of this messaging into the product page and the copy, okay? So be it on the ads, be it in the video, uh, be it on the actual product page where the conversion happens as well. You want to put all of this stuff inside. Okay, so for example, the pain point could be um, you are like always stressing in the office, stressing in the office, right? And then with this as well, right? You're always like uh, working and never outside, right? It's, it's, it's time to get outside, right? It's time to relax a bit, right? Get some fresh air. Then how, how about uh, a camping trip outdoors? Camping trip outdoors. Okay, then you want to obviously like frame this as benefits, right? So like um, the benefits of getting this tent specifically is that um, you you hate leaving the house and it's really uncomfortable, right? Uh, to get outside, to get outdoors. But outdoors with, with this tent right here, you are able to, for example, go go camping. Go camping. But you just have the, the comforts of a hotel, but outdoors, right? So you, you frame it as this. Um, you understand that their pain point is that, hey, they want to get out of the office. They want to get out of work, right? But then they also don't like uncomfortable situations because they are privileged or whatever. Right, and then you, you, you take that, that pain point stuff, and then you push it through and sell sell people on the fact that um that this this tent right here is is like is as comfortable as a hotel outdoors. Does that make sense? So can you see here like I just took like two minutes. It's just off, off the top of my head, right? But like you just define who who you're selling to, and you understand what they want, right? So this guy he really understand he really wants getting out of the office. He wants comfort. He wants to spend time with his family, and it's uh, inhibiting that. But this product right here. The, the, the angle that you're selling it for, uh, selling it to, is that it's going to provide a massive comfort for the family uh, during the, their camping holiday, which is what he wants. So, I, I'm not so sure whether you understand what I mean, but hopefully it does. Uh, it's just kind of thinking about how to position your the angle and like redefining who you are selling to. Because a lot of people, in their heads, they, they think they, they know it, but then when they write it down, they, they don't really know, right? And then you're hitting different the, the wrong pain points. And then you can't sell. And then you're like, okay, my ads are not profitable. Oh my goodness. 
You get what I mean? So you gotta step back sometimes for, and then like from the data itself, go and figure out who is it, who is resonating with your message, and then just sell them more of that. Okay. So hopefully that, that gives you perspective on, on what to do when your ads are not profitable. Okay. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below and uh, let me know. So because I always use those questions and then create videos for you guys. Yeah. So this was one of the questions that, that I got. Um, yeah. Okay. Hopefully this makes sense to you. Hopefully just go and implement it. And uh, yeah. Thanks for your time.